Switching gears, everyone. Investors saying it's a match as dating app specialist Match Group reported an earnings beat. The company, which owns popular services including Tinder, Inge, and Match.com, saw a boost in users and subscriptions in Tinder. That's even as a widening or a weakening global economy threatens some of the spending here, particularly from its lower income consumers. Uh, but this is notable, especially given how the reopening would certainly thrust a lot of attention towards people who were just looking to get back out. And, and year over year, that was the construct. How much of the reopening in 2021 in Q3 back then would actually protrude or permeate over into 2022 and remain kind of this normalized level? I guess the only thing I can really add here is, is love is not recession proof. I, I mean, really, if you if you lost a job recently, you don't have money to go spend $200 on a day night. I, that's how I read this quarter. Yeah, I mean, so the company, uh, the last quarter was not great, right, in terms of the earnings in particular. And so it, this reminds me oddly of Intel a little bit where, mm -hmm. right, where basically the company comes out and says, we're going to be disciplined on headcount. We're going to be disciplined on expenses. And that seems to be in this environment what the street wants to hear, these reassurances that these companies are reading the room, so to speak, and that they understand that we're going into a tricky time. So that seems to be the sort of big picture here of why Match is reacting so well to this report. You wouldn't think that Intel and and Match would have much in common, but there that's the theme I see at least. No, I'm getting I'm well I mean, I don't think Tinder, I think there was weakness throughout this report. I, I think they highlighted that uh, really through and through. It they lost customers in some parts of the business. Well yeah. for, for Match, for Bumble, all of them are trying to build up the amount of revenue that they're seeing on each individual user by offering some of the incremental kind of add on costs, whether that's being able to move yourself to the top of somebody's queue, whether that's being able to say, you know, just send somebody a gift through the platform, which to me is a little creepy but yeah. if that's your if that, things if that's you should jam, not do x x x x x x, x, x. <laughs> jesus um yeah i mean the the paying users here is what it's going to continue to come down to where they're seeing that that paying user kind of increase and i think it's really going to come back to as well the amount of word of mouth marketing that actually takes place among those paying users because if some paying users are saying you know what at the end of the day this is not really working for me anyway um, then you could see a deceleration. There. I mean, there's also some internal stuff going on. There's no permanent CEO for, t for Tinder right now. Mm. The CEO of that group left earlier in the year and they have not replaced them. And so this is something that they need to work on as well. So they're seeing the revenue strength. They're seeing still paying users um, keep up. But it's this sort of preparing for maybe things that are not going to be so rosy going down, coming down the pike.